Uh, hi guys, so today I will be demonstrating on how do you collect stool specimen. So first of all, the materials needed is that we buy a stool specimen kit. And in a stool specimen kit, there's a canister. And inside the canister, there's like there's a sample form, sample form, a form, sample form. I will like put it right here, something here. Sample form, a sample bottle instructions also to me I guess so yeah so in the form what you need to write is basically your name your address your name your address your date of birth and the date of when you collected your stool sample so yeah and in the sample container is like it's a specially made sample container for those who want to collect stool so basically I'll have a picture here. So basically, it's like a container and a lid. And the lid has a spoon stuck on it, like embedded on it. And inside the container is some liquid compound. And on the container, there's a line there. So as you fill it up with poop, it will reach the line. And that is indicating that you need to stop filling up with your poop. So basically, do not exceed the line that is on the container. Yeah. First of all, the most important preparation is to wash your hand with soap. I will have a video here, but it will be very quick. So, and then after that, another is maybe to urinate before you take a stool sample, because we try our best not to add other foreign compounds other than the needed one, which is basically your poop. So yeah. You wash your hand and you urinate, you put on some disposable gloves, but I don't have them, so I'm gonna use these instead. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but okay. Anyway, so after that, you must take a plastic wrap and basically wrap it on your toilet. Wrap it and add some silver tape to it if you need to. I do not have plastic wrap, so I'll be using a plastic bag instead. That's it. And now I can see here like this. So this, and make a dent like. Uh, Make it go in there, but don't let it sit down because if you have like a soft bed, then and make it and you basically sit on it and you put. Basically, this is a stool container, and if you see there's a line here. Basically, you should not exceed this line. You should fill this up with the poop, with the poop, with the poop, fill this up with the poop, and basically, yeah, do it. Anyway, inside this and on the lid, basically, there's a spoon here. If we so you see it's a spoon here, so basically it's like this but, but the container of course will be small and the spoon for the lid also smaller of course So yeah so, so with your disposable glove You scoop You scoop some of it You scoop some of it And then you And then try your best not to touch the edges Don't touch the edges Let it free fall into the water without touching anything and yeah, okay, after it reaches here, you stop and then, it's, and then basically you close the bed tightly. You do it this, and basically this is your stool payment, and then you send it to the lab. So, yeah! In a nutshell, basically, first of all, you need to have a stool specimen kit, take out the form for the canister, fill out the important details your name, your address, your date of birth, and the date when you collect the stool specimen and after that you put all the needed materials right at your toilet there and you go pee after you go pee you go wash your hand after you go wash your hand you go and wear disposable glove you put a plastic wrap on the toilet seat and sell to me if needed and make a dent of it, make like a dent, dent, dent here and you see on it and you poop after that, you take, you open the lid and there's a small, smooth, small spoon there scoop it and put inside the container make sure to not touch it to let, make sure to not allow the poop to touch the edges of the container the inner edges of course, inner edges and then after that, you tie it, close it tightly, put it in the canister, put it in the canister, and put the form in the canister with it, and send it to the lab. So, 
yeah so yeah i guess that's all thank you